I'll be real, man. I I just I decided to shoot my special here. I just needed a break from L.A. I just needed a break. They L.A. does some weird shit, man. They they be doing this weird shit to me where they just assume I'm bisexual because I'm a good person. <laughs> I don't know, is anybody, any other nice ass niggas here? Does that happen to you? It's, it's wild. It's wild. I don't know if y'all know this shit, but apparently straight men are so bad, good manners just make you gay now. That's just how it works. That ain't fair. I was just raised right, nigga. That ain't fair. It's wild. And, and if there's any bisexual people here, I just want to apologize. I don't think that's fair. I get lumped in your struggle because I'm a nice ass nigga. That's not right. That's not fair to you, right? Like, if y'all talk to a bisexual woman lately, ask her a dating story. This bitch gonna sound like she just got back from war, nigga. It's crazy out here. It's too many options. It's not fun. It's... Nah, bro. Every Pride Month, it's just hard for a nice nigga like me, man. Like, people just assume. Like, I, I was at this Pride party, man, and uh, this girl got drunk. Super drunk. Lost her phone, keys, dignity, all that shit. And... <laughs> So me and my homies, we got her home safe, got her back to our roommate. Next morning, she finds her phone, Venmo's me $20, right? Venmo's me $20. And she wrote me a letter in the Venmo charge. I didn't know there was this many characters in that shit. <laughs> but she wrote me a letter, she said, Dear Niles, I know this last presidency has been hard for you and your people. So take this $20 and enjoy the rest of your, she put it in caps, month. <laughs> I was like, what? I commented on that Venmo charge so fast. I said, bitch, it ain't February. Don't ever say that shit again. <laughs> I love, I love Pride Month though, bro. I love, love my gay and trans, gay trans homies, man. I love them. Because I'm from the South, bro. And every time I go home, Somebody say something ignorant, man, every time. I was at a wedding, right? Options at the wedding were fish or steak. I picked fish. I didn't want to be heavy on the dance floor. Niggas be wobbling and shit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and why did a dude at my table lean over and go, nigga, you gay? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> That's not fair. Like, I don't think you should have to say no homo before you eat sea bass. That's not... <laughs> That's not right. It's not right. Every time, every time I go home, they just ask, ask some ignorant because I got, I got gay friends, man. They be like, do they come on to you? No, that's not, that's not what happens when you have gay friends. Like, if anybody in here, if you the straight homie in the gay friend group, you know what it is. You just a fucking chauffeur. You know. <laughs> the niggas laughing hard, no. Gay niggas do not like to drive, bro. I don't know what it is. They just don't do that shit. It's just, it ain't they shit, man. And it's, it's trash, because it's like, I be driving, gas expensive, bro. <laughs> and I be driving the gay homies around, I can't ask for gas money, because then I'm the homophobe, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's bullshit, they found a loophole, nigga. It's, it's not fair, man. I, that's why I, I'm tired of this shit. I'm tired of this homophobia and transphobia, man. Like, because I'm from the South, and families in the South do this bullshit where they'll accept a pedophile uncle over like a gay or trans family member. Come on. Yeah, you know about this? Your family did it, I know. <laughs> and it's fucked up. And you, and you black, and you know what black families do. Black families can't even say the word pedophile out loud. <laughs> well, black families say is, well, you know, Uncle Allen just a little off. <laughs> That's what they say, a little off. And I don't like that shit. Cause it's just like a little off. Like, I don't think that's the adjective. <laughs> I don't know if that's the adjective we should be using for this nigga that can't come to dinner cause of middle school down the street. Like, <laughs> that's fucked up. I don't think that's right. I don't think that's right, man. Like, a little off, like a little off is what I would use to describe LeBron's acting in Space Jam too. <laughs> like, That shit was trash. <laughs> and I'm a big LeBron fan, bro. 
and like my whole life, I thought the worst thing I'd ever see LeBron James do is tear an ACL. And no, it was rapping with Porky Pig, nigga. That. <laughs> Man, whole time I was watching like it's for kids. It's for kids. It's for kids. <laughs> so bad. Ugh.